I remember that day I was sitting in my office and a gentleman came inside and he asked uh, that he wanted uh, his uh, daughter to join the course and he inquired about all the details. So I started telling him all the details about my course and then he said, uh, ma'am, how much time my child will have to give in order to learn these skills? So I told him, sir, look, the classes are twice a week, but you, your child has to give at least 15 to 20 minutes as a daily practice. He looked at me and he said, ma'am, my child is too busy. My daughter is too busy in her studies, her homeworks, her revisions. And she cannot give 20, 15 to 20 minutes daily for the practice. She's too occupied. So I said, sir, I can totally understand that in these senior classes, children don't have a lot much of time for some extra activities. So it's better you plan it out. You go home, you plan it out and then you come back. So he said, no, ma'am, you took me wrong. My daughter is in class two. She's not in any higher class. I was shocked and I was taken aback. Class two, and the man is saying her daughter is busy. So it is not for the first time. I many a times now I come across and parents tell me that they cannot join. They cannot make their child join public speaking, writing skills because their child is too busy. So first, we need to understand that what is public speaking and why does your child need to learn public speaking? See, public speaking is an essential skill. It is as essential, it is as important as learning how to cycle, how to swim or maybe even how to read. It is very important for the kids to express their thoughts, their feelings, their suggestions, their experiences to others in a manner in which they can convince, they can make the others understand themselves. So what is public speaking? Public speaking is being able to express yourself, to organize your thoughts and to put it in front of others in such a manner that they understand it, they listen to you and they grab the message, they absorb the message which you want to convey. And what is stage? What is stage? A stage is an elevated platform. When you are giving a speech and your parents are feeling on top of the world, they are clapping for you, the people are applauding and you are feeling on top of the world. Is that stage? No. Stage is every time when you separate yourself from the crowd. When you stand alone and express your thoughts, your feelings, your ideas, your suggestions, your expressions, your experiences with others. It can be anywhere. It can be in your family. Suppose you are having dinner and you say, hey, I have something important to tell every one of you. And your family is sitting and you are standing and you are sharing your experience. They are listening to you. At that time also you are doing public speaking. Even in your society or maybe in front of your friends. Maybe at a festival or a celebration when you want to share something with the people who are listening to you. Or maybe in your class when you're giving a presentation or even when you're answering a question. Or maybe in your school you're standing on a stage and giving a speech. Or maybe in front of 5,000 people on a stage. So every time you separate yourself from a crowd, you stand alone to express your thoughts, your ideas, you are doing public speaking. Children become introvert because they do not express themselves. They keep everything inside bottled up. Half of the time they want to share their feelings, but they don't know how to describe it. Such kind of children become shy, become quiet and introvert and hesitant. So it is important to understand that the time to learn public speaking, the right time is now. Because the right time to learn swimming is not when you enter the deep sea. So whenever you get a chance to learn this valuable skill from the right person, don't think about the right time.
because the time to learn is now. So this is Surabhi Jain saying goodbye till we meet again with a new discussion.